Sarah Garden Armstrong is an artist and a native of our state. Her creations have brought her worldwide fame. Years ago, she left for New York, but she was always connected to her home. Of course, the art, the artist, and the studio where she works here in Birmingham are all absolutely Alabama. I did not start out as an artist. I started out in elementary education. And my mother was an artist, and I realized that that was what I wanted. I had to head to New York, and this is 79. I got in this building with someone. I adore this place, and it has really been my connection to Birmingham. Then moved back in 2017. Have you ever looked at a piece of art that almost seemed alive? Well, this is the story of an artist whose work is as real as breathing. It's nature-based so, sort of lyrical this, abstraction here, with a biomorphic I mean, of <laughs> connection that is really dealing with a lot of life forces, oh, life systems. Mm -hmm. This piece right over here, X and Y, are, for me, pretty much like, you know, caskets laying on the ground, not touching, and breathing. Today, Sarah lives and creates on the second floor of the building in downtown Birmingham, which connected her to home, above the ground floor contemporary gallery. This is actually the last piece I've just done. So let me just explain. It's not paint. It's pigmented fiber. It's abaca, uh, which is a banana leaf fiber that I'm putting with pigment, and I'm pouring and staining. You only really know what it's, the color is going to be like after it dries, so you're, it's a continual chance, manipulating, and, and then eventually solving it, yeah. so that you feel like it, it's a good piece of work. There was a book, it's called Threads and Layers, and it traces my work from the very early, very early pieces here that I did in Alabama, through New York, and then back around to work I've done here. I could see how the threads went and how it's sort of layered. So, you know, for me, it's not this projector of up and down or up or up, up. It's more of a circular, more organic. It's, it's where you're going and where your head is at that point. It's, and it's always connected to you personally. See, that was really Sarah is an artist, but she doesn't really paint. What she does is create pieces of living art representing an artistic legacy, which is absolutely Alabama. Yay, Brad. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this.